Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs built on Web3 technology. Before getting started, I'd like to thank everyone for your delegations to Orbital Command. It means a lot to me and it's a great way to support the channel. In today's video, I'm going to address the topic of providing liquidity, or LPing. And because Astroport has had a bit of a facelift, I'm going to be using it in the demonstration. Three points that I'm going to address in today's video are what does it mean to provide liquidity? What are some reasons people choose to LP? And how do you actually go about providing liquidity on Astroport? If you've ever used Astroport, go ahead and smash that like button. So what is an LP? Typically an LP position is a pair of tokens. So on this screen I've got the Luna B Luna pair. This is a screenshot from Astroport. And you can see that the APR on this Luna B Luna pair is 29.90%. So that is effectively one of the main reasons people choose to LP. They can earn fees and additional rewards from providing liquidity. Looking into this example a little further, if I come along with some Luna and B Luna tokens, I can enter a liquidity pool on Astroport. By providing this LP pair, I become eligible for some astral incentives. And as you can see above, currently the APR is just under 30%. So in this instance, holding Luna and a Luna liquid staking derivative in a pair on Astroport means that I can generate an extra 30% yield. On top of that, when someone else comes along to trade to either buy some Luna with B Luna or buy B Luna with Luna, in other words, they need liquidity providers. And by putting my Luna and B Luna into this pool, I then become eligible for 30% APR paid out in Astro tokens. Liquidity providers also get a share of the fees that are charged to the users when they make their swaps. Taking a look at the Astroport Twitter page, the official account is Astroport underscore FI. And from here, we can go to the Astroport website. It's a nice looking website where you can learn more about the Astroport AMM, Automated Market Maker, DEX. Then when we enter the app, we start off on the swap page. The other sections are pools, governance, and then there's a section to claim an airdrop if you haven't done that already. Looking into the pool section, we can see all the different pools where people can provide liquidity. The total liquidity provided on Astroport at the moment is worth just under $28 million. Jumping over to TFM, we can see that Astroport makes up the vast majority of liquidity on Terra. TerraSwap's got almost half a million TVL. Phoenix, 28,000. And White Whale has $220,000 worth of TVL. One thing that's interesting here is that TerraSwap has more than double the liquidity of White Whale but White Whale has actually generated more fees in the last seven days. Moving back to Astroport, I'm going to take a look at this Luna B Luna liquidity pool. We can see the total APR is just under 30%. On top of this, the B Luna that I'm going to put into this pair is going to be generating Luna staking rewards itself. So a portion of my LP is going to be generating another 14%. Just clicking manage, we can see all the different options that I can choose. I want to provide liquidity. Now I've got the option to provide double-sided, which means I put both tokens in, or just one-sided. As I like to do things manually, I like to put in a double-sided token pair. Essentially just to remind myself that an LP position is all about trading. Now I've got some Luna in my wallet, but I need to get myself some B Luna. I'm going to head over to Backbone Labs, where I can stake some Luna for B Luna. If I stake 10 Luna into what they're calling the Gravedigger, I'm going to get 9.7 B Luna back. As B Luna is an auto compounding token, slightly less B Luna is going to equal more Luna. So my 9.7 B Luna equals roughly 10 Luna. The longer I hold my B Luna, the more Luna that I'll get back. In fact, at a Luna staking APR of 14%, if I hold this 9.7 B Luna for a whole year and then unstake it, I should get back 11.4 Luna. 
Now I can go back to Astral Port and provide liquidity into this Luna B Luna pair. I already had a little bit of B Luna in my wallet, so I'm just going to max out the amount of B Luna that I can add, and that automatically adds the appropriate amount of Luna that I need to add. You'll notice this is not quite a 50 50 ratio, and that's okay. I want to make sure that the option to stake my LP tokens for generator rewards is set to on. I could stake my LP tokens manually, but seeing as there's an option here, I'm just going to pick this. And what this means is that once I've entered this LP and staked my LP tokens, I'll be eligible for this 30% APR paid out in Astro tokens. And I just click add liquidity. The next screen is just a confirmation. Back on the main pools page, we can see it update in real time. My liquidity has just gone from $135 worth up to $189. I can claim the astral rewards that I'm receiving by clicking this green button up the top. If I want to get my Luna and B Luna tokens back into my wallet, what I need to do is unstake my liquidity and then withdraw my liquidity. You can see on the withdraw page I get this message saying I can't withdraw anything until I've unstaked it. Just to recap, in this video I spoke a little bit about what it means to provide liquidity, then spoke about why people might want to provide liquidity, and then gave a demonstration of me providing some liquidity to the Luna B Luna pair on Astroport. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button, and if you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.